in the September issue of the Journal of Athletic Tra- Training, you published what is probably the most comprehensive study on injuries in young hockey players. Can you tell us a little bit about how that study was designed and what what age groups you exactly looked at? Absolutely. My ice hockey study is the first epidemiological study of its kind to examine ice hockey injuries over an extended period of time. So we looked at ice hockey injuries from 1990 through 2006. You know, prior studies in the literature have looked at um, age of athletes, have looked at the diagnosis, gender, mechanism of an injury, but those studies were all limited to a p- period under five years. Um, so this study really looked at a 16-year period, and we looked at a variety of different age groups. We looked um, at, at those participants aged 2 to 9, 9 to 14, 15 to 18, 19 to 29, and those participants who are greater than the age of 30. Um, so our study looked at um, 300,000 different injuries that occurred to U.S. emergency departments as a direct result of an athlete's participation in ice hockey. Uh, so most of these, you would say, are um, they, these are basically community-level, high school-level uh, um, um, hockey programs where, where the players were injured, they were seen in the emergency room, and that data from their injury went into a database, and that's where you, you obtain the uh, data from for the study? Absolutely. You know, the study, the study it could have been even professionals who were sent, professional ice hockey players who were sent to the emergency department. It, uh, the study didn't differentiate uh, between a professional or amateur ice hockey player, but we have to assume that it includes a wide variety of different types and abilities. So what the study did is we took our data set from 100 different hospitals that are strategically positioned around the United States that statistically represent um, the entire uh, emergency department population, and, and through that data, we're able to find statistically significant uh, data to show what would actually occur if we could get data from every single emergency department in the U.S. Uh, let's talk more specifically about the study findings now. What are the in the study? What were the some of the most common hockey injuries among the players that you found? Well, I think the most commonly um, injured age group were those were those individual, individuals aged 15 to 18. They accounted for 31 percent of the you know total injuries, and I think also the athletes aged 9 to 14 accounted for 28.9 percent of the total injuries. Now I think that is a those two are significant numbers because that's when body checking initiates in, in ice hockey, um, and it kind of varies between different organizational groups. But USA Hockey is starting to allow people to start body checking within that 9 to 14 um, age group. And so we're seeing an increase in injuries specifically in those in those groups. We know that those injured, um, those aged 2 to 8, the most common injury we see is to the head, face, and those accounted for 59% of all injuries. You know, those aged 9 to 14, we the most common injury site we saw was to the wrist, hand, and fingers, and that accounted for 18.3%. You know, our age groups from 15 to 18, you know, we saw the most common injuries were, sh- were to the shoulder and upper arm. So certainly we are seeing more and more injuries occur as checking is coming um, at an earlier and earlier age to these young individuals. Um, and another, you know, key you know key stat that I looked at that I was really surprised that we found was that 32.7% of all injuries occurred to the head, face, and mouth. And this was extremely surprising to me because... This is something that should be prevented if, if athletes were wearing the proper equipment. 